This will be fun. Oh. 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 Wait, there, there. We got a 12 box case of 2122 Opera Deck Extended Series. These are eight cards a pack, 24 packs per box, and even a single box of extended. Should be getting six young guns, which isn't true for 22, 23, or 23, 24. Four canvas cards, four retros, a 607 retros, two holographic inserts, a 506 black diamond retro insert, a 99 2000 SPX retro insert, a base French, one dazzler's clear cut, parallel, or other hit card, okay, and two select rare cards. So there's that. <laughs> for but before we get into today's video, this video is sponsored by Mirage Training. Look for sealed boxes yourself. Check out MirageTrade.com. Featuring all the new boxes, ranging from hockey to TCG. Be sure to check out Mirage Bricks, Mirage Trading's new group rank site, in which they go live on whatnot on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Break results will be posted on Mirage Trading's YouTube page, so be sure to check out Mirage Break. Also, be sure to check out the Mirage Trading app, a useful way to shop, featuring the collections tab, pre orders for highly anticipated product, and much more. Also, be sure to check out Settle to buy now and pay later. Make purchasing those big ticket items easier. So, thank you, Mirage Trading, for sponsoring today's video. All links will be in the description, and let's get into today's video. All right, Excedent decided to get a 12 box case. This is gonna be a four part series. I'm gonna be opening three boxes per, mainly because I don't want to violently annihilate 12 boxes in one video. I feel like three is gonna be a perfect pace, even though I will be going fast. But the main reason why I bought this is the average box cost from the case is $40 Canadian, which is like 480 bucks for the entire case. Considering this product is not that bad whatsoever, it's not as bad as 2021, nowhere near. It's way better than 2021. I was like, screw it, that'll be a fun case break. So what should we expect from here? Well, first off, there are 50 young guns. There's no first round rookies in here, fortunately. And while the crop isn't bad whatsoever. The two standouts I would say would be Seth Jarvis and JJ Paterka. There's a bunch of other good NHL players in here. Like Alex Holtz has a full-time role, hasn't really realized his potential yet. Yeah, Prezetta Protis. There's a bunch of interesting goalies in here. Like Akira Schmidt, his young guns were 40 bucks in the playoffs last year. Now they're not $40 and he's been pretty rough and he's in the AHL. Nico Dawes has been pretty good for the Devils, which Dawes is in here as well. But regardless, you just look at the crop here. There's a bunch of decent NHL players in here. Like Harvey Pinard, his stuff was hot at one point. So no top end players in here, but some really quality players. And we should be expecting a clear cut young guns per case and at least two French. I know for a fact I'm gonna miss stuff in here, but there's also 30 canvas young guns. We're looking for the Mort Cider. I mean, heck, we only need 20 bucks to get half return for this, so I highly suspect we're gonna average at least $20 worth of pulls in each box. But Cider is a target for the canvas young guns. There's six in the case. Also, should be getting three mascot canvases. They're one in 96, so hopefully getting our gritty. That's like half a box right there as well for gritty. Pretty close. There's also the 607 retro young guns with their parallels and the even rare 0102 un announced young guys if we could pull like a copy of that that'll pretty much pay for the case right there so obviously there's a bunch of retro inserts in here too many list off i mean in the black diamond retro emerald autos there's mcdavid and crosby autos so as well as austin matthews dang so there are some super duper high-end cards in here if you can pull them there's also trilogy updates in here should be getting some trilogy updates including trilogy autos like there's just so much in here the record collections we should be expecting one of them to one 240 there's gold and platinum parallels of that yeah there's a lot in here got an entire case yeah, let's get into 21 22 extended series and open three boxes here enjoy ripping some product for cheap a little four-part series here super cheap product i probably should discuss 23 24 and how series two is not as strong as anticipated mainly because there's not gonna be fantilly or cooley in series two they're gonna be extended bedard's canvas is gonna be extended you're not guaranteed six young guns per box even though they're adding 50 young guns in 23 24 like i don't want to be negative but extended should exist i mean every year of extended has tanked in value pretty aggressively but regardless let's check out extended here i'm gonna go through the base fairly quick there oh yeah the inaugural games there there's 607 retro of flurry blackhawks cape base next back up here should be expecting six young guns. There you go. Matthias Norlander. Young guns. Pretty sure I did like a brief overview of all the rookies in here. Norlander. Hasn't looked all that great for Laval this year. So there's Norlander. First young guns. Okay. Oh, I just realized. Oh my gosh. Those last. Right there. Jeez. Okay. Well. Oh. We got a holographics gold. Spencer Knight. There's a holographics gold. Should be getting like a few of those. Okay. Base. They're not numbered or anything. So what else do we got here? Oh. Black diamond. Single diamond. 506 design there or 607? I think it's 506. Okay. Next up here. We have another young guns now we got a canvas adrian kempe looking for that gritty mascot or more cider okay the canvases in 21 22 were just black on the bottom i'm kind of glad they made them more different and made the entire card black and white it just makes more sense there's a bryce kindop young gun so there's one of the rough ones kindop depth guy at large okay base and then we have oh quinn hughes 607 okay i mean 40 bucks a box why not right why not give it a shot we got we got a reflections there jordan eberly okay obviously we're hoping for like an exclusives in here or high glass or so oh we got a clear cut logan brown should be getting a few base Base. Brad Richardson, clear cut. Okay, hoping to get a decent clear cut young guns like Jarvis or Paterka, but there's Richardson. Next pack up here, another young guns. Lassie Thompson is getting thrown around on waivers. He's back in the Ottawa organization. Not sure what to think of him at this point. I mean, Ottawa is 
pretty brutal this year, so there's lots of tops. Next pack up here, we got a canvas. It is Casey Milstadt cake. And then we have, oh, Tomasino. So this 99-2000 SPX, okay. Also, we should be getting 1607 Retro Young in the box. The checklist essentially has like the top guys in it, so hopefully you get one of the top guys from 21-22. There's Grubauer, 607. Probably gonna miss a French here. I'm going pretty quick. We got another Young Guns. Seth Jarvis, there you go. That'll help cover a box, even though his Young Guns is pretty cheap. Hopefully we get a parallel of this, but he's currently pretty aggressively separated himself as the top guy in here. Turk got a pretty hot start, but he's been playing not as well recently, and Jarvis has been playing really good. He's on like a 60-point pace, so. There you go, this Seth Jarvis. Top-line winger, skilled, hard-working player, so there's that. Next pack up here, we have another holographics, Cole Perfetti. Okay. I mean, just good value in this proc. I mean, only 40 bucks. It doesn't take much to break even on a box. And there's some upside for some huge stuff. Well, we got a Gabriel Forche, so here's a trilogy update in here, because there wasn't any 21-22 trilogy. We got Forche, that's a 499, so that's a level 2 for Forche. Obviously, I wouldn't mind like a Cider Auto from this, which is possible, but there's a Forche trilogy rookie. Like, it's not just the young guns we're looking for in here. There's a lot of interesting stuff. Should make for an interesting open, right? Oh, there's a finite. These should be like the 1,000, right? Or 3,000? Dang. I forget which one's the 1,000. UD3s maybe, but there's a finite to 29.99 of Victor Hedman, so there's a number card of Hedman. Get out of your breath. So there's that. Next up, we... Yeah. Is that a Young Guns? That's not a bad Young Guns. Grindy type player for the Habs. Not quite a full-time guy with the Habs, but he's been in more games than not for the Habs. And he's effective in that bottom six role, so there's Pizzetta. Next pack up here, we get... Oh, Bo Gru, Rookie Gems, Single Diamond. Okay, and then we have... Oh, Nico Dawes. That's not bad at all. Canvas Young Guns. So, he was a gold medal winning goalie in 2020 for Canada at the Juniors. And since he's been called up, he's been quite good for the Devils, so... Yeah, I'll take that, Nico Dawes. Jersey needs a goalie. I'm not sure if they have it in Van Checker Schmid. Maybe Dawes is that guy, maybe not. They probably need a veteran if they want to compete for a cup, but Dawes is a good young goalie, so there's that. Next up here, they gotta make the playoffs. Jeez. Uh, we got a Matt Duchesne Canvas cake. Base. I've definitely missed the French to this point. I'm just plowing right through. There's a flurry K. Oh, Felix Sandstrom. Young Guns. Harrison's in 22-23 product, but there's Sandstrom. It's like the number three for Philly. Or number four because of Cal Peterson, so there's that. Base, but Harrison's the guy you want right now. And speaking of Philly, we get Cam York. So, half decent Young Guns there for the Flyers. 607 Young Guns. So, there's York. Should be getting 12 of these in a case. There are parallels to that, like exclusives and high gloss to get. So, here is our French. Right there you go. Yeah, Chris Drieger. French variation. Okay, and that concludes the first box. Okay, second box extended. I'm honestly not worried about value. $40 a box is an absolute bargain. There's probably at least 20 bucks in polls there. I think we'll have no problem getting at least half of our value back and enjoy it and don't feel like I'm getting completely choo-chooed. So we got Jamie. I was thinking about it. You know I was thinking about it when I pulled this, but yeah, the Cutter Goche for Jamie Drysdale trade. I mean, it sounds like Goche was a big Pens fan and didn't want to play, which is not very mature, but Drysdale, he's already looked pretty good, finally healthy. See what Cutter Goche does with Philly if he signs there. That's not a great excuse to not sign the team. Yeah, I'm a diehard Pens fan growing up. Love Sid. That's why I did. I mean, heck, if I were a player getting drafted, I'm a Leafs fan. I'd love to play for Boston. I'm not even going to lie. I'd love to play for any team for that matter. So kind of a not great excuse to not play for a certain team. But we got a holographic gold, Tanner Genoa. So here's another gold there. Okay, next pack up here we got, oh, Lucas Raymond, quad diamond rookie gems. These don't have a whole lot of value unless you get like the autograph version of that. And then we get another one, Jack Eichel, double diamond. Okay, we got a large pile of cards to my left here. Oh, there you go. Stinger, first canvas. Nice. Mascot canvas. Yeah, it's a stinger. But he looks like he's wearing a diaper, but he's not. He's just wearing like a practice jersey over his outfit. But there you go. Stinger. Okay. I'll take it. These have decent value, I'm pretty sure. They're more than a common for sure. So there's that. Next up here, we got a young guns. Justin Barron on the Habs now. Decent defenseman. There's freaking Bunting, who has a base card and a canvas young guns in here, which is weird. But there's Barron. Another decent player in here. So I'll take that. I mean, there's a lot of decent NHL players in here. That's the same with 21 22. It's deep with solid players. There's a Claude Giroux, 607. Okay. And then we have. Oh, these are like 1 in 500. Ooh, okay. Special. These are tough. I'm pretty sure these are like one in two cases, but specialists. I mean, I pulled a Robertson. Wasn't a super valuable card, but yeah, one in 576 for the specialist, and that's Mario Lemieux. So there you go. That's probably half the value of the box, I would say at least. Mario Lemieux specialist. Really cool there. So again, 40 bucks a box. You honestly can't beat it at all. We got black and white canvas here of Ryan Hartman. And also, we're going to get a bunch of all-star base. So a bunch of like Matthews, McDavid, Zinovi base. So Hartman, black and white canvas base. Okay. Hoping for a clear cut exclusives. They're still in here, but we got a Vander Kane UD canvas. They're longer in 2324. Next pack up here, no young guns. The Blackhawks. Uh, Arvid Soderboom. Like, dang, okay. I'll take that. I mean, Mariah's been really good for Chicago, even though Chicago blows. And RIP Ka 
Connor Bedard in his jaw, but I was not happy to see him get injured there. Buddy's already a face of the game, but there's Soderblom. Could be a future in that for Chicago. Between him and Drew Camesso, I would say. They also got Jackson Stauber, but there's Soderblom. He's been pretty decent for a really rough team, so there's it. Yeah, $40 a box. I'm enjoying this quite a bit. I really am. I mean, Rodis Young Guns, another good player. Big power forward center for the Caps. He's quite decent there. Lexi Protus, does he play the KHL there, but he also played in the Western League, so there's Protus. <laughs> okay, we've got a canvas here. Vasilevsky also are there, but there you go. Sonny Milano, Nudie Canvas. That's in Buffalo after they did the crazy flip goal, so probably a slightly better canvas right there, okay? Obviously, I should have looked harder in my collection, but Brandon Tanev, that canvas is in here as well. That's a nice canvas to get. There's some really nice canvases in here, some borderline meme canvases, but hey, Nico Dawes, young guys. I'll take that. I'll take another Dawes there, okay? Of course, hoping for a nice parallel, young guys. That's my main target here, or a nice trilogy card, but we got Seth Jarvis, 992000 SBX, okay? Holy crap, I'm not whining. This is really enjoyable. We got 607 Young Guns. It is JJ Paterka. He's on like a 70 point pace at one point. Like a quarter way in. Now he's on like a 50 point pace, but still establishing himself as like a top six guy for them. He is upside to be more than that. He could be like a probably like a 70, 80 point player at his peak. So there's that. If not more than that, he's really good, but we shall see. Let's continue on here. Oh, we got Byfield Reflections. Okay, base. So yeah, this is solid. I am enjoying this very much there. Pavelski, 607, his rookie year. Uh, retro there, okay. And then we got another Young Guns. It is Bryce Kindop again. Okay, then we have another canvas. Jeff Carter, you do canvas. Kind of going through these quite fast now. We get, uh, we got our French. Uh, yeah, there you go. Mason Marchment, French variation. Okay. Glad we got the outburst cards instead of the French. This makes more sense. They should have just kept the French for laughs here and that's it. But Huberto, 607. And the final two packs for the second box. Going to be opening three boxes here. We get Fabian Zetterlund, Young Gun. So, like fourth on the Sharks in points. He was a part of the team of Meyer trade. He's established himself as an NHL player with a horrendous Sharks team. So, there's a Zetterlund, Young Guns. Again, another decent one. So, and the final pack for box two, 21 22. And there's also a Char base in there. Oh, Trevor Zegers. I'll show this for Char on the Islanders there. At the end of his career, of course, he started with the Islanders, but there's him at the end. But there goes Zegers, Finite Rookie, 29.99. There's parallels of these as well, but that's the highest one, so. Okay. And let's open the final box of Extended. For part one, that is. This will be a four part series. The full recap at the end of the case. Looks like we have one of them here. Yeah. And these future impacts. The UD3 card that is 1,000, 250 to 1,000 for Lucas Raymond there. Weird insert there, but cool. I'll take that. I mean, there's a little bit of value everywhere. No major value to this point, but a little bit of value everywhere. One of these holographics there. Panarin. Okay. And then we have a rookie gems. Triple diamond of Lundell. Next, we got a canvas of Andreas Janssen. Okay. Should be getting six canvas young guns in here. Or actually, maybe more if you include the black and white, but Holtz young guns. There you go. Who's had some inconsistencies in his game with the Devils this year, but Jersey's been dealing with a lot of injuries most of the year, but he definitely has some offensive skill there. He has a really good shot, so there's a Holtz young guns case. Okay. Let's continue on here. We got 607, Anders Lee. And then we got Drew Wynn, 607. Next to, uh, oh, Huberto, finite to 29.99 for Huberto, okay. And then, oh, Jesus, uh, Hugo Alnafelt, Young Guns, who was protected when Vasilevsky was out, went with Johansson and Matt Tompkins, and Alnafelt hasn't seen any NHL life since 21-22, I'm pretty sure, so still a relatively young goalie there. Could be something. A lot of these goalies still could be something, so there's Alnafelt. Got his clear-cut Young Guns, kind of getting hidden back there by all these cards, but uh, we got, hey, Raphael Harvey Pinard, Young Guns. There you go, there's Harvey Pinard. His Young Guns was red hot, like, last year. It's definitely cooled a bit, but a decent skilled depth player, I would say. I mean, Joshua Wad just made his debut for the Habs, and his Young Guns is gonna be a a lot of money because he has a lot of hype around him. And whenever Lane Hudson makes his debut for that, that card's gonna be worth a fortune. But there, Harvey Pinard, Young Guns, decent one there. All right, next up here we. Yeah. Oh, hey, Duncan Keith clear cut. I'll take that. <laughs> Behind him there, okay. But yeah, there you go. Duncan Keith clear cut. Follow you of a future Hall of Famer there. Him on the Oilers, so that's cool. I'll take that. Duncan Keith should be eligible, what, like in 2025, right? For the Hall, should be first ballot. You got Quinn Hughes, single diamond. Let's continue on here. Another young guns. It is Gabriel Forche. Young guns. Largely man one there, but okay. Like at large, the majority of these players aren't too bad. There's a Taze, UD Canvas, not playing this year. Hopefully, he comes back next year. If not, then wish him well. So there's that. Okay. What else we got here? We got Cole Sillinger. SBX. Rookie there, Kate. Jeez, there's just so many cards here. Monhan Canvas, Kate. And then we got another Young Guns. JJ Moser. An all right one there. Fence pen for the Coyote. JJ Moser. So, Kate. Next pack up here we got Carter McMichael. UD Canvas. Down to the final handful of packs here for part one of the K. Oh, got a French Young Guns. It is Sean Day. Exceptional status, Sean Day. So, he's an HL defenseman, largely depth there. But yeah, there you go. There's Sean Day. Not a good one there, but there's a French Young Guns of him. Next. Next pack up here we got oh pod coles and 607 young guns there's pod coles and 607 young guns next pack up here we got six
Master. Okay, so hoping to get like a cool canvas car in here. Uh, we got our young guns. Alex Steve. Not sure if he's gonna get a chance ever. He's been really good for the Marlies. I think he could be a guy for them. Maybe because the Leafs are getting cheap players because they're paying like 40 something million dollars to four players. But there's Alex Steve's. And the second last pack we have. Oh, what a variation. Mark Andre Fleury. Nice. Just a suit variation. Fleury there. Okay. Could have picked a more flattering photo for him, but there's that. Okay. And the final pack we have a holographics of Alex Newhook. So there you go. Okay, guys, there's part one of the case. Super cheap case. 21 22 extended. Pretty unbeatable at $40. I will do a full recap at the end. We already got a lot of solid young guys. Should be expecting more there. Still expecting plenty of canvas young guys in here. Maybe get a trilogy auto in here, but that was really enjoyable there. But there's that. So, yeah, guys, stay tuned for the continuation of the case. As always, thanks for watching. See you guys later.